Greetings and welcome back everyone to the town of New Camaraderie, where we are slowly moving things up to our new area. There are plenty of rabbits around this gorgeous, gorgeous forest, so uh, we should actually be doing fairly well. Now, once all of this is done, uh, I'm probably not going to really lay down much in the way of flooring in here right away, but I will be moving the beds up, and for that reason I can start taking them down. Well, actually, I'll wait until the next morning. So that there isn't a risk of anyone trying to sleep in that time. We are getting some plants set up. We've got a scout from Rodabolo. Uh, sorry, Rodabolo. Rodabalo? Rodabolo? Something. Um, from Rodabolo of Starling is visiting the colony. What an interesting name. She is named Purple Purple Finch. Very Purple Finch is her name. All right. Let's see. Rilda, Overlord, chilling out, dreaming of all of the gl glorious things they're going to be able to achieve in this new colony before they leave. All of the people they're going to be able to eat, all of the exotic tastes they are going to be able to sample. Right, we kind of need that finished off. We also need to wall up this area as well. Because I really do want the enemies to come from this direction. One nice thing about this, there's no cover around here. It's actually very nice for that reason. Right, let's get this bed uninstalled and this bed uninstalled. ASAP, please. Once we've got those broken down, Emily's bed as well, we can move them all up there and just start uh, setting them up in this new room. And the nice thing about having everything inside is although... I mean, it's not very good for food. Uh, we also need this one uninstalled. We can uh, store all of our uh, items without having any particular trouble with them breaking down and due to wear and tear and that sort of thing, due to the elements. There we go. We'll pop that one in there as well. Yeah, there we are. Now, we are going to want somewhere... Now, I've not had a message saying that this is a terrible, terrible place. It still could be, but I've not had a message saying it is. Alright, we are going to want an area for our food. And I'm thinking this will be that area. Now, we because of the uh, heat redistribution mod, I don't need to build it with wall access. That is one of the nice... Really? Already? Well, you know what? I guess that isn't so bad since it's only just started. It could have been at a much worse time. We've got a mad animal already. That is kind of annoying. Where is it? A mad hare. Rilda, slay the mad hare. That's right. Well done. Mad hare can be gnawed on. If you really want to. But I recommend not for now. We could build in here, actually. I mean, this is kind. Of, this is going to serve as a communal sort of area for now. But eventually, this could be a common room. We could have a little area in here before trying to expand and make a, a much larger base. Sometimes I get distracted by doing that, though. Once I've got a, a place where people can stay, they never seem to leave it. Which I kind of want to avoid. Specifically, I, I want to make this awesome if I can. Um, let's think. We could... No, we, we, we will, actually. We'll make... We'll give ourselves a little uh, area back here for storing our food. We'll have a door there, three wide corridor leading up. We'll have an initial refrigerated room fairly deep in here. About yay big. And we'll have the entrance to this room. Hmm. Well, we could have the entrance through here, kind of airlocking it. One door there, one door there, and actually have the preparation facilities here. Uh, yeah, actually. So in that case, we don't need this for now. Now, I really don't like making such a small area, like 
by having it all communal like that, but at the same time, it, it is going to save us a lot of time setting up. We can make this a nice large refrigerated area. Now, as I mentioned, there's not going to be a big issue with setting this up, but there are going to be certain concerns we need to address. I'm going to need a wall that I can actually build on, a wall that is considered mine. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to run the pipe work that I'm going to need. Now everything is going okay out there. We're going to need to have an indoors storage area as well. I'm thinking over here should do. We can make a rather large storage area right at the back. Um, actually, if we grab the trade beacon, we're not going to have a room that large initially. No, and we're not even going to try. That would be a bit silly. It would take us ages to get anything done. So we'll just go ahead and have the room built out like this. We can draw it out a little bit further if we really want to, but there's a part of me that doesn't want to simply because it's going to encourage some problems with people being able to just dig through the walls. So we could even shave off a little bit more room. Actually, thinking about it, there's no particular reason why we can't go up. So let me see. So we've got 7 by 7 so we'll do a 14 by 7. That should be nice. In fact, we can do 14 by 8. Let's make it a 16 by 8. There we go. So that's going to be our storage and crafting area back there. Now, this is going to all take a fair bit of time, unfortunately. But we've got plenty of wood there, which is good. Um, and now that people have finished doing some of their work... Oh, a wanderer has joined. Fantastic. Let's go and find you. Blackout? Really? I know a fella whose uh, online uh, screen name is Blackout. I wonder if it's the same person. Spelt slightly differently, though. So, possibly not. Right. Decent shooting. Incapable of none. You're a careful shooter, hard work, and a cold tolerant. Wow, the cold tolerant really useful. Very good doctor. Unfortunately, doesn't like to eat people. You're a good enough doctor, however, that we will overlook this shortcoming. Uh, Dev Blackout De Lorenzo. Well, Blackout, you are going to be named LMC Giver. There we go. Fantastic. You're actually good at a lot of stuff. My goodness. All right, we want you set up as the others are, so we'll pop you there. And for the time being, you're going to join in the joy of this group. There we go. Now, what are you going to be working at? You're actually a f really good doctor, so that's going to be a priority one for you. You're going to have secondary and... Yeah, you're, you're not meant to do it anymore. Uh, there we are. You can handle... I mean, not amazingly, but you can do it. I'll set up as a tertiary for, you can also have that as a tertiary. I don't believe you have a weapon, though you do, saying that. Yeah, you've got a knife. It's not terrible, but I'm not going to have you hunting with a knife. You've got some desire to do construction work. I'm going to give you it as a last resort job. You're actually better at growing than our chief grower. But you don't have a green thumb. So mining, you've got a five in that skill. Okay, yeah, you can have that as primary as well. As far as smithing goes, you've got fives, so this is gonna be a last resort job for you. That you're very into art. So we'll set that up. Cleaning, second priority. Researching as priority one for you as well. Okay. I like it. Get to work, though we're going to need to build you a new bed now. Ah, oh, drab. I don't like that. Oh, well. Should be able to set you up something. We could have a little bunk room, actually, on this side if we really wanted to. I uh, kind of like the idea. Yeah, why not? Got a little wall there. 
A little wall over here as well. We'll have another bunk there as well. Just ready for when the time comes. Okay, we could start setting up some batteries. In fact, you know what? It's actually more useful for me to not worry about this. I want to get this set up sooner. So, hopefully... If we can hold these things up, that would be grand. Thank you very much, Emily. Your contribution to this colony is duly noted. Uh, we'll just pop another wooden door in there. We're going to need to get some more food pretty soon. Our food stocks are dwindling rather sharpish. Now, we are going to want batteries. Let's set up a little battery structure. Can have a couple of batteries in here with a switch to move the power through. In fact, we can build the batteries all along this row. Like this. In fact, we'll have a little door there and here. This should work out okay. Then we can have a couple of solar panels and wind farms out here, and then eventually we can hook up to that. I'm not going to do anything too um, too ambitious with the battery supply this time. We're just going to try and get things working for now. Uh, unfortunately, they're still hauling a lot of stuff down here. You know what? Let's just cancel this. Don't haul things down there. Bring it up. We have got medicine, don't worry. They'll go and grab it all. In fact, I suppose I could, for the time being, just to make things a little bit easier, make this a stockpile zone. Yeah. Go ahead. You can just start hauling stuff up here. We really need to get rid of that tree, though. Slowing everyone down. No? Okay, fine. I'll get rid of you this way. Oh, yeah. All of the planting is being done. Very happy about this. Very, very happy, in fact. Actually, LMC, what are you wearing? Is that all you're wearing? That is all you're wearing. Okay, well, fair enough. There we are. Fantastic. Now, we're going to need to get a research table in here, a cook table, a butcher table. Most of the rest of the stuff can go in here. In fact, the research table could go in there as well, thinking about it. We'll add in a door there, and a door there. That should prove to be a suitable airlock for keeping our freezer nice and cold. We are additionally going to need a zone for dumping things. We'll make this our dumping zone for now. Just all the way down here. I want all of these taken out, please. They don't need to be taken out as a huge priority, but I do want them taken out fairly soon. Also, this needs to be chopped up. Right, okay, so power-wise, we want two switches. One down by there, one here. Then we want enough batteries to connect these switches together. Now, we've got a lot of metal down there, so we should be able to bring it all up and uh, take care of that fairly quickly. The power, well, actually, thinking about it, you know what? Let me just quickly change that idea. We're going to get rid of you. I am going to have the switch there instead, and we'll have our solar power just set up outside. Now, ideally, I would prefer it somewhere where it isn't going to be bumping into things all the time. I could set this up like this. Alternatively, I could set her up like that. But unfortunately, that wind generator is going to cause an issue with the geotherm down there. But, on the whole, it won't be too bad. And we just need to hook it up, like so. However, I'm going to need to pretty much cut all of the plants down. 
maybe even salt the earth in this area just to make sure that it doesn't mess with the wind generator. Uh, well, the <laughs> wind turbine. It's not generating wind. As much as I wish that were what it was doing, it's not. Okay, we've got some cargo parts. Where are those? Uh, just a bit of Al-Qaeda. Uh, actually, not too far away, so yeah, sure, you can collect that. You can haul it down if you want to. There we go. Let's get all of this sorted. How much food have we got? Really, is that all the food we've got? Oh, scallywags. We need a lot more. Production. We need a butcher's table. We'll make it a wooden butcher's table bill for now. Additionally, we're going to start this area being our stockpile for freezer. Cold storage. We don't want rotten things in there. We don't want chunks. In fact, we don't want anything except foods. Also medicines. Also hops. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and, well, <laughs> corpses. There we go. Get to work, everyone. Ideally, right now. Okay, right. Well, we're out of out of uh, food now. That's that's not good. Uh, we want harvest. Are there any harvestable plants? There are not. Well, dance a lot. Can you work on that for me? Can you work on it more? Can you work on it more? That's oh, actually, that's really good timing. Food just arrived. Oh, I'm very happy with this. We've struck gold ore. What, really? Yikes. Very nice. Right, wooden butcher table. I want these hunted. Soon, soon there's going to be delicious, delicious meat. We'll just get all of this set up. Continue this stockpile zone. Right. They're beginning their raid. So, Rilda. Want you over here. Overlord. Want you there. And I'm C over here as well. And Emily. Let's get you down here too. Actually, Emily, I'd like you to be over there. Begin the attack. Right, how badly hurt are you? You've taken a gunshot to the torso. And another one, I imagine. And a couple of pistol shots. And some more shots. Perfect. We don't want him to be alive anymore. Slay, with extreme prejudice, our food should not be twitching. I mean, it's mo kind of more fun when it is sometimes, but no, not this time. This time... We need that chopped up right now. Well done, well done. you've got that. Um, could you possibly prioritize hauling? Well, no. Could you possibly... Who's our cook? That would be Rilda. Rilda. Well done, Rilda. Okay, you can gobble that down. Then I want you to butcher. Speed things up a little bit. Rilda. Rilda. Prioritize hauling the wood. Really? Can I? Oh, I haven't set up bells yet. Ah, I'm a dope. Butcher creature. Details. Butcher all the creatures. Do it forever. There we go. Perfect. Delicious, delicious meat, everyone. Enjoy. It's not that much. I mean, uh, I mean you know. I guess it's a reasonable amount. It'll have to do for now. I'm sorry, everyone, but... Uh, we've got any creatures roaming around that we can go and butcher. Well, we're going to have to hunt them first, of course, but... Go grab them. And we still got that massive herd of things. Uh, it's not massive anymore. Got some rabbits, at the very least. Let's grab all of them. Compacted steel. 
My lord, well done. Wow, seriously? I mean, I approve, but... I'm not going to dig into that yet. I'm happy with it being what it is. What I would like to do... Is just get this place expanded out. This should not be storing foods. Or medicine. Well, actually, this can store it, I suppose. As long as the priority is... Low. And this one's priority should be important. There we go. Let's get all of this set up, please. Perfect. Some power will be moving through shortly. Uh, we then want production... A cooking stove. As well as a light. And then... We can start running this power around this area. Probably do the same up there. Poor mood. Rilda. Oh, what's wrong, Rilda? Hungry. Urgently hungry, rather. Night owl in daytime. Ah. Sorry about that, Rilda. That was my bad. Let me get you set up properly. Right, so Rilda, you need to sleep more around... Let's say, go to sleep about 8 a.m. Have eight hours of sleep. I want you to have some joy right before you do that, though. Unfortunately, that means you're pretty much on your own for joy, though. I could have you... Oh, no. No, it doesn't work. You're just going to have to be on your own. Sorry about that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And that should all be fine. Okay. Pretty happy with that. Well, the, you can just go and duck down. Have a good old sleep. Stockpile zone. Let's get this all fleshed out. And that is almost finished. Wonderful. Okay. Now. Obviously, ideally, I would... Pr oh, really? A group of hungry alpha beavers has just arrived. Try to eliminate them before they decimate every last tree in the region. They're quite far away. But okay. Food. Now. We're going to want some lighting in here. Quite badly, actually. But we're going to have to wait for the power to be set up first. Uh, what we could do in the meanwhile is improve the walls here with actual walls. Now, it's going to be a little bit uh, weaker on this side, but we'll just have to live with that for now. There we go. We're bringing all of this up. That's great. Let's keep that going. As soon as we get all of this, then I'll add another light in there. I can and almost certainly will add in a nutrient paste dispenser in here. Just to try and help a little bit with moods. Because it's still going to be better than just eating raw food. Dance a lot. What's up, Dance a lot? Let's check you out, shall we? Slept in cold, shared a bedroom, feeling bad, ugly environment, disturbed sleep, ate raw food. Yes, I know. We'll get it sorted, don't you worry. Let's get ourselves a wooden table. Well, maybe not a wooden table. Uh, sorry, not one of those tables, at any rate. Uh, I mean, it's hmm, kind of awkward. Where are we going to put this table? We could put it up here, actually. Yeah, I like that. Because eventually this storage area is going to be moved. Furniture. Let's get some... Wooden chairs. There we go. This is looking much better now. We'll eventually mine up there and get all of that good stuff. Don't worry. Just won't be for now. Okay. Right, we've got some 
ability to cook some simple meals. Unfortunately, we do not have much food anymore. Cook simple meal. Do until you have 10 details. All of the meats. There we go. But we definitely need that f uh, the dead weaves to be hauled in. A couple of them are probably going to just perish. Got a lot of bleed. Uh, blood around here. Really? You're a terrible huntsman. You're just shooting them and leaving them to bleed out, you scoundrel. I don't approve. I don't approve a tiny little bit. Not a tiny bit. Well, Rilda is uh, snoozing for now, but as soon as we get an opportunity, we'll build the... I'll cancel that as well. We'll uh, get the nutrient paste dispenser built in here. This will be a, a controlled room for temperature, so it'll be fine. And we've got the beavers in there. We should be getting some of these soon as well. It is 77% grown, 25%, 86%. We're going to have some beautiful strawberries soon. Don't worry, everyone. It'll be okay. There we go. Some proper foods. I approve enormously. We don't have a table yet for them, but we'll get there. Apparently something's being slain. Well done. Have the other ones died? Because when they die due to their own kind of wounds, because you shot them and didn't kill them, they become... Oh, what's going on there? Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's sleeping over the corpse. Draft of beavers made for life, because if they do, I'm just going to weep. You scoundrel overlord. I mean, I know you eat people, but, you know, just leaving those things to suffer like that, that's just wrong, man. Thankfully, the temperature indoors isn't actually that high, so it is terribly bad right now. Besides, we not keeping the food long enough for us to ever actually get... Uh, to the point of it rotting. Okay, that's actually going quite nicely. Well done, everyone. We've got a bunch of simple meals prepared now. That is actually pretty good. Very nice indeed. It would be good if we could finish this, though. Just, you know, so you can have somewhere nice to uh, sit down and eat. But yeah, I'm not going to force you, I suppose. Uh, we will definitely want some joy. I'm going to give you a steel chest table and some furniture to go with that. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll splurge a little bit on the steel. Oh, have we used all of the steel up? We might. No, I doubt it. We had a lot of steel. Yeah, we're fine. Give you some nice steel chairs to play your chess on. There we go. Right. But it looks like the town of New Camaraderie is, you know, not doing terribly bad. Could be doing a tiny, tiny bit better, but... I think we can uh, get through here without too much trouble. Now, the nice thing with these bat these lights, you'll notice that they're not connected to the battery block. Which means, if I shut this battery block down from receiving power, and possibly isolate from the main um, system, that's not going to happen in this example, but if I were to do that, then these batteries wouldn't run down because they're powering lights. Because they, they wouldn't be. So, yeah, there is that. But I think we're going to wrap up this episode there. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you'll be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.